All right, let's turn to our weather now. Doppler 10 meteorologist Ross Caruso is in for Jerry tonight. And, uh, boy, this has been a lot of rain. We're hoping that we get a, some sort of a break from the rain we've had. I know. Some people, unfortunately, are still dealing with some showers in the yeah. early part of the night. You know, during the nighttime hours, not that much of a big deal. But, of course, it was very busy today on the roadways with some very heavy rain that came through yeah. shortly after lunchtime. And so here we are seeing the last of the rain for a couple days. we got a little bit more that's going to be coming through this weekend. But it's nice to see that we'll at least catch a break. And of all days, a Friday, nice day to have that break as well. And it's not going to be nearly as hot. So we have a cold front that's going to come through. I'll use that term loosely because it's really not going to cool things down a ton, but it's not going to feel like it's into the 90s. So we're starting to make a step in the right direction. This front is literally moving through right now. And what we're looking at is essentially the remnants of this system and which has brought some very heavy rain across central Ohio. Nothing compared to what we had earlier into the day, but we did pick up a few lightning strikes just a little bit ago over towards Mount Gilead area, just north over towards north. North Bloomfield. And again, this is going to gradually push towards the southeast and through Knox County here, moving towards Sparta and Centerburg. That'll continue to bring some heavy rain in those parts for the next half hour or so. Some intermittent showers moving through towards Sunbury and southeastern Delaware County. Right around Westerville, you might be looking at a few isolated showers moving through. That's going to be mainly just east of the 270 loop now. And just a brief shower looks like it moved through northern Clintonville, Worthington area. Further south and west, we did have a stray shower just pass through Madison County again, perhaps right over Grove City, but that has since then diminished. Looking at some heavy rain just exiting Washington Courthouse right over Bloomingburg. That'll continue to push southeast in through parts of Pickaway and Ross County and might even continue to weaken. And hopefully we can see that trend take way. And of course, it was a warm day for us before the rain came through. Highs were in the mid 80s. For those that didn't see much rain, well, you can clearly tell because temperatures were near 90 degrees across most of those locations that were missing out on some of those showers and still very warm at this hour. It was 80 degrees yesterday at this time. Time, so we are making some improvements out there, but still very warm temperatures generally hanging out in the low to mid 70s. So this front will continue to move through to the south and east, bringing some isolated showers or a few rumbles of thunder perhaps in southeastern Ohio, but probably will continue to weaken by that point by 2 a.m. Then as we head into the rest of the overnight, we'll continue to see some clouds filter in, perhaps a little bit of patchy fog as you head out for your Friday morning. Temperatures, though, will be falling into the mid to upper 60s, which will set things up for a warm and muggy start to the day on Friday, but we're not going to warm up a whole lot heading into the afternoon and we'll have a nice breeze out of the north that'll help to keep things relatively cooler for us as we depart for the weekend which looks to be much of the same highs in the low to mid 80s and then starting to warm up heading into next week but with the temperatures over the weekend won't be too bad we will see another chance for showers and storms developing later this weekend that's going to be mainly during the second half of the day on Saturday where we'll see a chance of showers and storms and then perhaps the bulk of the rain coming through late Saturday night into Sunday where we'll then slowly see those showers move out by the second half of the afternoon on Sunday, where then we'll look at some drier weather on Monday, highs back in the mid 80s Tuesday, and then more unsettled weather later next week.